Welcome back, YouTube. It's your boy Seth. So today we got an update on the stimulus bill. Um, I went through the house yesterday and they voted on it. I remember I told you it was going to come back Friday. Uh, so the only reason I haven't uh, gave y'all any updates was because I was just literally waiting, playing a waiting game. Um, so I'm going to play a video. Uh, I follow a lot of different news channels and stuff. So I like to support a our black fellow men who actually do detail uh groundwork to find out what's really going on in this world and b uh just support all youtubers you know any other channel that's doing youtube that's trying to just get stuff out so uh, i'm just gonna let you play that play their video i'm gonna have the link in the description below so if you want to follow their channel please follow them i advise everybody to follow um you know help these people out help everybody out in the youtube community and please help me out <laughs> i have hardly any subscribers um, I'm, I'm trying my best to get more and more subscribers. Um, I got two more yesterday and I was ecstatic. <laughs> I know I only have 18 now and that's, that sounds pathetic, but every single subscription matters. It really does. I really appreciate everything. I'm trying to get to a thousand and um, please like the video. All likes help the YouTube community see it more and that really helps me out also. But please subscribe and thank you. So um, I'm going to play the video, and I'll see y'all in the next video. All right, bye. What's going on, everybody? David here. So the House just voted, and they approved the HEROES Act. So we're going to talk a little bit about what comes next. But first off, on this channel, we talk about personal finance and traveling on a budget. If that sounds like something interesting to you, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you can get future updates on my videos. On this vote. The yeas are 208, and the nays are 199. The HEROES bill is passed. Well, we saw the House, they just voted, and they approved the HEROES Act. Now, this is no surprise. So let's talk about the next step. So the next step is it goes over to the Senate, and the Senate's going to have to look at it. And we've already heard some senators say, even the majority leader saying, that we, we want to take a pause and we just don't want to do anything right now. So they're they're trying to they're trying to push it down the road. But I think there's gonna be enough pressure. The fact that there are stimulus checks in this in this bill, there's there's uh, state and local government uh, funding in this bill. So I think it's really gonna put pressure on them to act sooner than later. So they're gonna at least need to look at it. Uh, next week. And at the very least, there's going to be some negotiating going on. Right now, the senators, uh, the majority leaders basically saying all they want, and they haven't said anything else. So this is what, what we're looking at is the liability protection for businesses. So if a, if a business brings back an employee and that employee uh, gets COVID-19, they can't sue the employer. Or if a consumer comes in and they get COVID-19, they can't sue the business. So that's the only thing that the, the Republicans are asking for right now in the Senate. So Republicans have issues with a, a few of the things that are in the bill. So we're gonna see, we are gonna see some changes to the bill, but uh, stimulus checks, it seems like that's, they're on board with that. They haven't really said much about that, but they have mentioned certain things like uh, the, the fact that uh, dispensaries, like these cannabis stores are able to receive uh, funds and loans and things like that. And they're, they're against that. Also the ITIN number. So if you're a non-resident, some non-residents can still receive stimulus checks. So they're, they're having issues with that. So, uh, and one of the things too, I think one thing that will stay when it comes to this bill is people who file jointly with someone who has an ITIN number. So someone who's a non-resident, you file jointly with that person. Well, in the old bill, you weren't able to receive a stimulus check but you have a social security number, they have an ITIN number, and because you filed jointly, you guys both needed to have social security numbers in order to get the stimulus checks. So that's that's one thing that they'll probably change in this bill, but they're gonna work, they're gonna negotiate, that's, that's a whole part of the process. So this negotiation will happen in the Senate, and then from that point, if they make changes, major changes, they're gonna have to send it back to the House, and then the House is gonna vote on whatever the, the changes are, and then, they can send it up to the president. So it has to go through this process in order for us to get the stimulus check. So don't go spending money right now. There's no stimulus, there's no second stimulus check on the way. We have to work through this process, but the beginning of the process has started. So they passed it in the house. Now it just needs to go to the Senate. Once they figure out what they're gonna do in the Senate, then it's gonna go to either back to the, to the house, if there are major changes, it's gonna go back to the house 
and then it will go to the president. And then from that point, the president signs off on it. And so if we're looking at a timeline, I would think this is probably gonna take a couple of weeks. Hopefully they can get it done before the Memorial Day break that they're gonna have. But if they can't, then we're looking at, at June 1st, probably the earliest before we'll know exactly what they're gonna do with this. Unless they try to rush it through. Now we already know the senators are saying, uh, the Mitch McConnell's already saying, we're gonna take our time with this. So there is no urgency on the, the, the way that they're talking, there's no urgency. And so we'll have to see what they do next week. If they do take their time next week, then obviously we're not going to see anything until after June 1st. So the, the sooner they can get this done, the better. Obviously, it is going to take some time for them to figure out, OK, we're going to send it out to these people first. So if it's a, if we're getting a stimulus check, we're going to send it out to these people first. It's going to take some time for we all know people are still waiting for their checks right now. So there, there's that this is going to take take a while before you start seeing another check so you could it could be late june before we see something as far as the first check started to roll out so i just wanted to give you guys a quick update so do not go out there spending money thinking you have a stimulus check coming in a couple of weeks because it's, it's probably going to take at least a month before we see another stimulus check if we see another stimulus check like i said it has to go through that process everyone has to vote on it and then We'll see if, if another stimulus check is going to be on the table. Uh, so just wanted to put that out there. If you guys have questions, please post it down below. Also, let me know if you're a veteran's beneficiary and you receive your stimulus check. So we're trying to gauge that to see when people are, are going to start receiving those. Now, I understand some people who are, are veteran's beneficiaries, you have another job and you file your taxes 2018, 2019. So you're going to receive it before uh, some of the other people who did not file. So if you're a non-filer, VA, let me know if you received your check. That way I can let other people know. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.